Hey guys, it's Chris. Ever since the trailer came out for Star Wars The Force Awakens this week, there's been a lot of speculation about where's Luke? Why wasn't he on the movie poster? And I just want to make a quick video to say Luke Skywalker is not Kylo Ren. First of all, let me just say that I appreciate fan speculation and I appreciate, you know, the idea of, you know, big movie twists and things like that. I know J.J. Abrams is known for big twists and hiding things until the movie comes out. But here's the thing. If you didn't know, Star Wars was never about Luke Skywalker. Star Wars, the original trilogy and the prequels for that matter, the original story was about Anakin Skywalker and his fall to the dark side and his redemption through his children, mainly Luke. So if Luke was Kylo Ren in Episode 7, where all of a sudden he decided to turn to the dark side and rule the galaxy like his father before him, this would completely destroy his character arc in the previous trilogy. And I think what they're going to try to do is connect these trilogies together as one long story, the original idea in the first place. So having Luke end up being the antagonist, the secret Sith who's going to take over the galaxy, just wouldn't make any sense for the character himself. And on top of that, you would think that if Luke was going to turn to the dark side, he would have done it a long time ago. Why wait 30 years when you could take hold of power immediately, being the only Jedi powerful motherfucker left in the universe, and take power then if he wanted to turn to the dark side and, and go for a power grab. But a lot of people say, well, we don't see Kylo Ren ever with his lightsaber and mask off at the same time, so that's got to be Luke. No, not really. We see Kylo Ren attack Finn in the latest trailer without his helmet on. We can see his long black locks flying in the wind as he attacks Finn with his cross-guarded lightsaber, and that's definitely not Mark Hamill. And other people have said online, as far as some of the things I've read about this theory, is that how did Kylo Ren get a hold of Darth Vader's helmet? Well, anybody could have. He burnt his body on the moon of Endor with potentially hundreds and thousands of people celebrating, including Ewoks, so... By that logic, it could have been a really tall Ewok who got a hold of his helmet and became Kylo Ren. The other thing I think that shoots down this theory is Kylo Ren's lightsaber himself. We can see that it's a homemade version, like I said before many videos, made in his garage, and it looks like a pretty shitty lightsaber as far as how it's put together. Luke got his original lightsaber, the one that belonged to Anakin from Obi-Wan in A New Hope, but then later on he constructed his own lightsaber presumably using the Force, which was an old Jedi rite of passage anyway, so I don't think we're going to see Luke Skywalker with that shitty looking lightsaber. And other people say, well, Luke Skywalker did turn to the dark side in the comics. He turned to the dark side in the Dark Empire comics. So? That has no relevance here whatsoever. Those comics are completely different stories. I can see potentially where Luke may have teetered on the dark side in the last 30 years. That would parallel his father's story arc quite well, but I don't see him becoming this antagonist 30 years later and then donning a secret mask and making a power grab now. And a lot of the people are pointing to a 2006 interview where Kevin Smith interviewed Mark Hamill and Mark Hamill thought that Luke Skywalker, the character, would eventually turn to the dark side like his father did. But that was just a completely random interview and George Luke has completely rejected that when he still owned Lucasfilm. So I don't think J.J. Abrams is going to take the major player in Star Wars, flip it on his head, and decide, oh, fuck him, we'll just turn him to the dark side and make him the bad guy. And to top it off, basically, we just know for a fact that Adam Driver is cast as Kylo Ren. We've seen pictures of him. We've seen him with and without the mask. It's his body build. It's his height. There's no comparison to an older Mark Camel, who we've also seen in leaks, with the full beard being the old Jedi hermit type of character like Obi-Wan was. I think it's pretty straightforward. And while I appreciate speculation and theories and things like that, I don't think they're going to take that and then shock the world by making Luke the bad guy. And the last point I would make is that a lot of people are saying, well, where's Luke in the poster? Well, Luke is not going to be on the poster because he is a Jedi. The entire premise of this movie is that in the last 30 years, there's been no Force users, there's been no Jedi, no Sith and it's become a thing of legend. I think we can clearly see that from the trailer, and I think that's what J.J. Abrams is going for, that same kind of feeling of build-up and euphoria when once we finally see him on screen as the all-powerful Obi-Wan-type character. And I think at that point, when you see a Luke Skywalker come back after 30 years, there's going to be huge applause lines and as a matter of fact, they may have to rewind the damn thing so we can hear what the fuck they're saying. So anyway, thanks you guys. Just want to throw that out there real quick. Let me know what you think. Plenty more videos coming. In the meantime, you can click here for the last video I did on the actual trailer. And you can also click here for the video I did on episode 7 and the synopsis and what I believe the basic plot of the movie is going to be about. So check those out. Let me know what you think. 
Be sure to subscribe to get everything. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.